What's up everybody, we are back in St. Petersburg and today we are doing transit oriented development and before we get started, started, I thought I'd just give you guys a nice shot of the city just so you can see how that's going so far. Uh, but anyway, let's get straight into building this TOD area. So what that means, and this is something that we were taught in university and it's something that is really, really common in town planning today all over the world. Some of you guys may know what TOD means. It stands for Transit Oriented Development. And so what that really means, it's when you have, uh, let's just say buildings. So you have mostly residential, but there's also a lot of commercial and they'll be focused around some type of transport area. So most of the time it, it actually occurs at a train station. So uh, you might see next to a train station, a whole lot of high rise residential buildings. And then there also might be a whole lot of commercial buildings and also some office spaces really close by. And so what that really is trying to do, it's making transport more encouraging and more easy to use because it's in with, within walking uh, distance from their uh, from their job maybe from their from their house. So that's why there's a lot of residential and commercial around and also office spaces as well as well and probably industrial as well but not right on in the TOD area but industrial could be nearby so it's just creating a lot of walkability it's creating uh, it's encouraging public transport so that's reducing the amount of uh, car dependency uh, it's encouraging a better lifestyle it's making people get out more it's also encouraging people to shop more shop more in that area because like I said there's going to be a lot of commercial focused in this area as well and a lot of the time it's going to be medium to high density but I think for today's video I just went with medium density and mostly residential but in real life you'll find mostly medium but then there'll be some random high-rise buildings that are quite quite high um, another thing about TOD is that you'll find you'll find in real life that the residential buildings are really right up against the train station and the train track, and that's just something very specific for TOD TOD developments. Uh, so the buildings are designed in a way that reduces the noise and vibration impact from the trains, so it doesn't really affect them, and just so it's really close to the train station, so that. Oh, so that all fills in with the TOD principle. Uh, also, you'll find there's going to be a lot of path. There's going to be a lot of pathways in that area in the TOD area. There might be a lot of green space as well. Usually, you won't find too many parking spaces. So, I try to replicate all of this. But the main thing that I think I should have put more of today in this episode is more green space. So you'll find much, much more in real life. You'll find a lot of pathways all leading towards whatever the, the the transport hub is so in this case it's the train station uh, I just went for a basic grid but a lot of the time it can really be any type of road layout it could be a grid or it could be flowing roads it could be dead end roads it could be cul-de-sac roads it could be anything so that's really up to you guys how you want to do that and how the developer wants to do that so I guess I kind of went for kind of, kind of, a little bit of a mixture of a grid layout and then I have kind of a bit of a curved road but that, I don't know, doesn't really count does it? So uh, it's quite a mixed use area so you can see I'm doing a lot of residential but then you'll find there's office spaces really close by so that can both act as a sound barrier as well and then just some commercial just here and there and I didn't really like the the terrain the terrain here, so I was like, oh, I might just flatten it out and then try and blend it in a little bit. I'll try to blend it all in later, but just for now, I just wanted to focus on this TOD area. Um, yeah, so those residential buildings are right on the train track, which is completely normal. So um, if you think I'm not if you think I'm lying about that, you can easily look it up. It's very very common. So here in Australia, you see that. Uh, the TOD principle in a lot of inner city areas, not so much in the outer city areas yet, but I think over time um, it'll start happening out there because it can only there's only so many transport hubs in the city. So um, yeah, and I think I know it's quite common in Canada as well, and I'm sure it is in a lot of European countries. 
I don't know about the U USA. Um, if you're familiar with it in the USA, let me know. I did ask you guys where is it common. I think some of you said. Uh, actually, no, I don't. I don't even remember the cities that you that you um, suggested. But there was some, but I'm not sure if it's super common over there yet. Um, where I live in Brisbane, in Australia, it's quite common. So I see that pretty much all over in the inner, inner city areas, and I quite like the idea. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I would live there, or maybe I would, I don't know, have to, <laughs> anyway, that's off topic, um, so, just doing some pathways along here, so the pathways, you need to make sure there's a lot of connectability wherever, uh, like, over the main roads, connecting it to the, um, the residential area, just making it really easy, because that's part of TOD, um, so TOD, we've done a whole lot of that in university, so I'm really, really familiar with it, um, and I guess for this train station, it's quite good because it's really close to the public housing estate as well. So they're going to be obviously low socioeconomic people. So I think I do create a pedestrian bridge that's really, really easy for the low socioeconomic people to get to the train station here. So that's really going to be beneficial for them. Not that it, they're probably not really low socioeconomic in the game because I don't think the game really like identifies that too much but um in like in theory it's it's good to have it connected like that i'm thinking throughout the rest of the time that i build in this city i'm going to probably implement implement tod throughout other train stations in the whole region so uh i probably won't really say that i'm doing it but i'm just saying now that i might do it so keep a lookout for that and at least then you'll see potentially the different ways. Um, I did look in the Rico mod. I don't think I had any buildings that I wanted to put in this area because all of the Rico buildings I have are used in the public housing estate which is just to the left there of the screen right there. Um, so I didn't really want to do, I didn't want to do those houses, uh, those apartments again in this area. But um, the houses or the apartments in the TOD area, the transit oriented development, they're usually not super fancy, but they're definitely just nice I, um, and probably affordable most of the time, uh, but don't really. Uh. So, here I'm just flattening out the area because I didn't really want to do any buildings right on the riverbank because just in case there's some flooding, so. Um, that can just act as a natural flood cap, uh, catching area. Uh, I think I'm just putting in a school there. It's quite a modern school. Then I put in the modern high school. And that comes from the new DLC, the green, whatever it's called, the green. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but that comes from that if you're wondering where it comes from. And so like I said, I was just going to connect up this whole grid area. Just trying to make it not so... Um, disconnected so it's always difficult when you have a train track I notice a lot of people it the train track really separates one side of the suburb to the other and you just have to try to do bridges over it, do pedestrian bridges do tunnels just do something to try and connect it up because in real life it really the train track really creates such a difference from either side even with highways as well so you need to make sure there's always enough connections from either side otherwise it's really going to create such a huge difference which is something I really hate the idea of because um, I don't know it just shouldn't be like that it should be equal I guess so right now I'm basically just finishing up with this pathway uh, I like I said, I didn't want to build anything significant in this area because uh, it's right on the river, so in case there is, let's just say there is a flood, not that there is going to be a flood, probably not in this game, but if there was, uh, it might flood in that area, so I guess I'm just doing the people a favour, so instead of building there and then being getting damage from the river, from the flood, uh, it can just be trees and then the trees will be fine once the flood water goes, so and it's just pathways, so it's an easy fix I guess. Um, I think I do add in a bridge over here somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure if I should add more bridges, 
because I think once I add in the pedestrian bridge over the river and also over the road right there it becomes super busy like really really busy like really really used which is a good thing I guess that's what I wanted so that's obviously going to be less people using cars so that's less traffic issues so that's really good so in the future I may add in another pedestrian bridge or maybe that would just seem too excessive I don't I'm not sure yet just have to see how it looks um, yeah I'm just trying to add in a little bit of <laughs> I can't even do it I'm trying to add in like just a small connection from the road up the bank and then up to the upper level there the upper level path upper level pathway and I think that's kind of what I do we I wish we had steps built into the game that would be so much better but I mean you could just do a really steep pathway and pretend it's steps but uh, it doesn't really I mean, I mean it could but I just don't want that to be honest um, so yeah just finishing up here um, just finishing off the pathway bringing that across there so straight over the river just a easy straight pathway over it's nothing too fancy but I mean it gets the job done and then just for visual appeal I guess I just extended out the pedestrian pathway along the side of the road not that it really creates any difference but I think I don't know it kind of just looks nice I guess just to make it look a bit bigger I suppose And there we have it you guys, this is a very very basic simplified version of TOD which is Transit Oriented Development. Um, if you're interested in that, just type it into Wikipedia, that Wikipedia has basically everything. Um, I feel like the whole TOD method, it, it is quite good and it's going to become really popular in the future. So yeah, you can see the pathway becomes super busy there which is what I wanted and which is what I expected would happen. So. Uh, that's really good and yeah so I think in the next episode we'll just extend out this whole area uh, extend along the main road try to to um, blend in the medium density with the lower density just blend it into the hillside and yeah so thank you guys for watching let me know what you thought and I'll see you guys in the next episode bye for now